Hey everyone! Welcome back! It's this time! It's we're this very time! Excited and we're excited because we get to go maybe get our gun back or maybe get murdered. Who knows? Let's maybe go! Maybe get shot. Uh, <laughs> Come with us to find out. No. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put on a little bit more of this bulletproof armor. Mm, oh, such a good idea. Uh, Do we have feet? Yeah. <laughs> Don't we have feet? Don't we, have feet? we never got the pants, did we? We never got the pants. If pants exist. It maybe because the pants are on the body. Did we? No. Because we took the shoes off the body. We took the shoes off. I don't. No, I think that was... there is a helmet that we do not have. That's right. But I don't know that. We don't yeah. have it all. Yeah. Tell us, you guys, if there's pants. Tell us if there's pants. Now, now is the time. Maybe a hint on the helmet, and on the pants. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Was this always this color? This is a great question. One for the ages. What is? You see a set Whoa. of tiles tracks in the brown slush that covers the plaza mosaic. Why am I looking at this? <gasps> Visual calculus. Hang on. Seventy-two. Let's have a look at things first. Cop habit. You look at everything. Okay. This isn't case related. You think? What kind of vehicle drove through here? Hard it's us. <gasps> Oh no, yes. <laughs> the tire tracks were oh. an unknown event. Start that took place crash. Some days ago. It's a message Shit. written in the language of the Oh no. Oh. <laughs> Harry, you're terrible. Some he was probably drunk. Hi, it's a kite. Right mm -hmm. in front of the whirling in rags. This is point A. Oh, the driver no. started there. <laughs> The driver. And then accelerated straight into the fence. Fuck. Left a hole big enough for the Franco Nigerian cavalry, according to the cafeteria manager. What happened next? The driver proceeded to back out of the yard. This is going to hurt our Barely stopping before hitting the adjacent building. Who cares? Look at shit tons. Before heading south. Must have been in a hurry. To get it in the fucking ocean. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, yeah. This is where I started off with my motor carriage before sinking it in the sea. No wonder the cafeteria manager seemed frustrated when we were giving us directions to the yard. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Go through the hole you made, you fucking egg! Well, you did provide us with a very convenient access point to the crime scene. <laughs> I love that we're this deep in the game and we're still discovering shit. I think I got it. <laughs> wow. Wow, what a fucking mess. Amazing. All right, we are going to go, I guess, to the church and then go down from there. Yeah, where is... Where? 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 Where, where is the place where we get the gun? Mm. Mm. Confront the pigs. The old fish market. Okay. okay, the fishing village. Yeah, all right. Just walk past the fishing village until you see the boardwalk. Okay. Do we think that means north or south of the boardwalk? Of here. I don't know. North? Try north first and then south? Oh, she's there. But not. It comes with us, so. Is that the boardwalk? I feel like the boardwalk's the place up top. Yeah, but how do you even get there from here? Ah, out to the left. Yeah. But how? But how? Is it? Fair, yeah. fair, fair question, fair comment. Yeah, 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 yeah. Left a little, right? I don't know. Who can say? There's so many different boarded walks in this area. I thought this might be it, but maybe it was the place where we found the dead person and. There's so many different boarded walks. Okay, well, look, we're just going to have a little oh. adventure trying to find this. The fate of remains of a poster with the date 46. A name is faintly legible. An... Where are you? I cannot zoom out any further than I am. Oh! Hi! Oh. Put your hands where you <gasps> can see them. Wow! Holy <laughs> shitbag. It's <laughs> not what I expected. No part of either of us was ready for meeting this character. <laughs> this is the, the, the 
quadruple sirens on the bed. Is there more than four? I don't know. This is amazing. Hang on. Oh my gosh. And you... so much boobage. Oh, oh it's your beautiful. hands where I can see them. The aged wo- woman under a p- mountain of police paraphernalia mumbles to herself, then notices you and reaches for the megaphone. Oh no. Show me this is the pigs. Show me your That's hands. our gun. Right now. Show me your hands right now. Oh my gosh. Scavenged. Battery powered police lights protrude from her back. The flickering light show reveals a gun in her shaking hand. She is very much like a character from Borderlands. This is beautiful. Her hand is trembling from some sort of neurodegenerative disease. Um, okay. Madame, please drop the phone. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah, 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 Should we raise our hands? I'm going to do the wait. Okay. Wait, what should we do, Kim? This is bad. Getting your weapon back is the priority. We can't have an unhinged civilian running around as a girl. Yeah, no kidding. She's been doing this every night, presumably. Um, take it easy. Or should we raise our hands? Oh, you, or you can lie. It's just a standard flashlight, ma'am. Calm down. I mean, it, it's not a lie. I'm holding a flashlight. Ah. Yeah, any of those. Easy, ma'am. Take it easy. To comply. Ooh. Oh. Officer, under duress. No. Under duress. <laughs> oh, no, I'm ready to get shot. I don't care. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I am the police. Don't move! Don't move! Hands on your head. Suspect is armed and dangerous. Well, okay. I'm not moving. Suspect is on the loose. Okay, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what we say. So let's try and talk it down there. Uh, Officer administered street justice? That one extra leg with a baton or extra knee strike above was what was actually required. Suspect oh. is under control. Suspect is under control. Be careful, detective. Don't do anything that might. Sure, her I'll off. just not do anything that might set her off. Whatever the fuck that might be. Because I'm not moving. It was nothing. <gasps> oh. Perhaps you can learn crucial facts before you do. Is that a red or a? Red? That is a red check, and we oh. are super low. Let's try the other options first, and then see if that helps. Uh, we can solve this peacefully. Please lower the weapon. Officer, you need to I mean, Kim does have his gun out. <laughs> Ma'am, please. We want to help you, but you need to lower that weapon. Lower <laughs> her away? Absolutely <laughs> <laughs> not. Let's just talk, all right? Authorized deadly force. Sector, take the shot. Big red key. Big red key. Are we about to get shot? Key. That's code for the battering ram. Cop talk. You know this. Okay. Is it helpful? What happened to make her like this? Mmm, empathy. That's a good... Loneliness. Yes, sure. Did that help? But also, in a less abstract way, the neurodegenerative disease I mentioned (sighs) earlier. Um... We're here to help. Tell us what's wrong. The woman looks at you, but through you, Mm. like you don't exist. Her eyes gleam feverishly, and the rotating police beacon lights reveal deep scratch marks on Mm. her cheeks. She needs to... This is the police! Unlawful engagement! Hands on the ground! Scumbag! So this is what the weather's like on the other end of a cop's gun. I don't want to. I actually don't want to go go put hands on the ground. Yeah. Um. um we just want to help. I, she's not listening to anything we say. Mm. Kim, what do you think? Oh. His eyes stay fixed on the woman and her gun. He studies them closely and then mumbles, "Fascinate." All right. See, this is what happens when we are not around. I mean, oh it's gosh. happening because we are around as well. Okay, well, uh, blah, 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 blah. yeah, yeah. Please identify yourself, ma'am. It's a goddamn police shitbag. Cut the pavement. You're under arrest. As she waves her hands, 
You notice familiar looking ampoules and packets sticking out of the mountain of police gear on her back. Medicine or drugs? Are you on drugs? Confiscated contraband. Restricted access. Two kilos missing. Eyewitness report compromised. I don't think she's on drugs. Being off drugs might actually be the problem here. Um, you're not... Oh, shit. I think we should say it. You're not the police. We are the police. Adrian, sweet talker. I'm with the Rat Squad. What is that? I'll, I'll I'll double, say this. Yeah, Lieutenant Double Your Freighter Harry Dubois, 41st Precinct. This is my partner, Lieutenant Kitsuragi from the 57th. No. Oh, no. No. Oh. I thought Mr. Moran. Gareth. Aggravated assault. Man down. Officer, this is mm. oh, I don't know if there's any talking her down. What's the situation, okay. officer? Fuck, we're about to get shot. Does she not believe you two are actually police officers? Um, we can show her our bag, our badge. Uh huh. We're really cops. Look at my badge. License and registration. License and registration. Come in, dispatch. Sector. Sector. Azima. It's not a code. Just okay. disjointed words. Uh, so, hand eye coordination. It looks like we can come back. We can try and put all our <laughs> stuff on and then come back with hand eye coordination and just try. Yeah, this is hilarious though that we just like walk away. Oh my gosh. <laughs> let's deal with this later. We can't leave. Oh! We have no other choice. Okay, well, let's, let's take an step to this. You oh my need gosh. To solve this. <sighs> We're holding hands. We're doing this. My hands are all sweaty, sorry. I know, it's all good, let's go. 28%. <laughs> Time to get my gun. She's oh! <laughs> Teetering under all that gear, there's an opening if you just move fast enough. If not, the lieutenant's got her in his sights. I know myself I'm going to fail. Sure, you're you, but how do we end this? She's not just going to let you leave. Fuck it, let's go. Yeah? Yeah. Gun, gun. I'm coming. We are wearing up armor. Yes. Oh my god. <sighs> For a moment there. I was 80% sure the gun is empty, and still the instinct almost took over. Oh, I nearly shot her? What, what is this? <gasps> this is a police issue. Police weapons and bullets. This isn't real. Whoa. Oh. These guns always have bullets. What is this? Why did you sell me this? Holy fuckball. Ah, it's stressful she as. She looks devastated. Aww. Get that gun, Rub Harry. Gun. Right now. This might be your <laughs> own <laughs> chance. Pick up, pick up, pick up. Pick up, pick up. Ever cares anymore? Why oh. would they cheat me like this? Oh, bless. The guy at the pawn shop should not have sold her that gun. Mm. He shouldn't have had it in the first place. But that's our that fault. Is, that, yeah, that's our fault. But this limbed and headed machine of pain and undignified suffering is grinding to a halt. <sighs> Tired of walking the desert. It doesn't want to feel or think anymore. Kim, put your fucking gun away. Poor woman. We need to figure out what to do okay. with her now. Oh. I mean, we've said this in previous episodes, but like, what what's the social services like in this world? Yeah, if it's zero, then like... Nobody's ever around. Nobody ever comes to visit me. Mm. Um, I'm not for number two. Yeah. Nor number four. Mm. Um, I don't like talking about people when they're there. Do you mm. know what I mean? Yeah. Like, all right, talking as if they're one. not there. I also am not super fond of like people who 
actually have no long term yeah, ability to help saying we're here for you. And it's then like, they no, fuck no. off. Yeah. Um, but let's that's our best option. The woman stands in front of you, motionless, unresponsive, almost like an inanimate object now. A mountain of police paraphernalia. Dang. In there she is alone, mm. trapped in a world of blue and red okay, lights. Now, now ask them to, I guess. What do you think is happening to her? She's in a stupor. I've seen this before. God knows for how long. Could be days when they get like this. But why was she like this in the first place? Honestly, I don't know. Dementia, probably. Dementia and Channel 8 and loneliness. Um... Neurodegenerative disease. Could be. Her hands were trembling and she did seem uncoordinated. But what are we going to do with oh, her? Oh, we can only arrest her at this point. Mm. I mean, she did commit a crime that could have resulted in someone dying. Well, yes. If, we'd, if there had been bullets in that gun, she would have shot us. Yeah, but we don't imprison people who are, you know, um, cognitively impaired, do we? Yes, we do. Yes, we, we do all the time. I mean, <clears throat> in theory, in the most massive, no, most doing massive quotation marks quote of all time, marks. if someone is mentally ill and does a crime... In theory, and I think this almost never happens, quotes again. Yeah. Uh, uh, the system processes them into mental health care. Yes, and um, uh, probably in other parts of the world it's similar to here, but um, there is a massive lack of mental health care. Um, there's a lack of services and people to provide those services, and um, sometimes it just doesn't happen. Yeah, so. people just end up in prison when actually they just needed help. Yeah. Uh, and she's not mentally unwell, though. Uh, it sounds like she's got a neurodegenerative condition. So, I mean, um, those things can be the same thing, right? Like one's like cognitive impairment mm. as opposed to being mentally unwell. Like you can have an episode of being, uh, if you have schizophrenia perhaps, mm -hmm. you can have an episode of, um, of that mm -hmm. um, where you might do things. You might... And by the way, friends, uh, people with schizophrenia are no more dangerous than anyone else in the population, by the way. Just want to put that out there. But um, say if you have an episode of something related mm. to whatever mental health condition, mm. um, that is not the same as your brain literally deteriorating and causing sure. behaviour changes. Sure, 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 One sure, is sure. A more, one's a far less permanent state probably. Yeah. And you treat them differently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why, why are we getting into this? Well, I was just kind of like, well, what's the difference between a, 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 a neurological disease and being mentally unwell? Like, those are the same things in my head. But I know what you're trying to say. Right. I haven't explained it very well, but hey, friends, you know. Should we just arrest her? I don't think there's any need for that. In her current state and without the gun, she isn't really a threat okay. to anyone. Thank you, Kim, for being the voice of reason. We could let Titus know. This is a perfect problem for the local yeah. peacekeepers to handle. They might even know her family. Okay, good. It would be good to help her somehow. Shall we say this wait? This is a wait? I was really hoping I can give her one of those station call slips. Okay, yeah. That would just be a waste of paper. I mean, look at her. She's not going to respond to a station slip. Okay. That's uh, one of those slips where we ask people to turn up to the station oh, another time. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, uh, but there's no one else, so yeah, Titus sounds like the man for the job. Yeah, and in some ways, if he can't, if he's not, it pokes a hole in his own theory of how they take care of the community. Mm. And if the only way you can take care of the community is be violent, that's not taking care of the community. No, Titus sounds like the then man. Then we can the ask job. him once we get back to the whirling. But we have to hurry. Because it's late and they might have already oh, gone So on. you're saying we should go right now? But I think we are done here for now. Let's head out. This is done. Please leave the radio on. She mutters, it seems like a reflex, a half-remembered sentence. Mm. She stands motionless. Just a heap of clothes and flashes now. Maybe if you search her once more. Search her? For what? I'm just going to save. Because surprisingly we came out of that without getting shot. The woman stands slumped. She looks catatonic under her mountain of RCM paraphernalia. 
Is one of those things a police cap? There were narcotics in there, too. You're thinking of taking them. Do. Um, taking the RCM cap. doesn't even flinch as you reach out and disentangle the familiar probably ours. lieutenant's cap from her mountain of RCM. It looks like she's been familiar. clicking stuff for a while. Oh, is that yours? <laughs> it's hard to say. It's been so long since you wore yours. Maybe, probably, you know me. It's your hat. Oh, you're right. <laughs> nice. Okay, uh, shall I shake her shoulder? Yeah, go on. The old woman doesn't react to your touch. Shall I confiscate the narcotics or leave her be? It's up to you. I'm leaving her be. I think Harry's not trustworthy with <laughs> narcotics on his person. Can we get to... Yeah. We... Oh, yeah. Authority. Oh, look, we look like such a dick. <laughs> Hang on, let me put my my, my full, like... My most regular of oh the bow tie I can't take that off. <laughs> I want it to be like as as copper as possible. Yeah, um, okay. Can we fast travel from here? Probably not. I don't today. think so. Mm. Um, but let's should we go speak to Titus yeah, now? Because yeah, Kim absolutely. kind of uh, hinted that on the plus side, no time will pass while we're running around. I just wanted to have a look. No. Okay, I, I was, you know how we're still looking for the boardwalk area that could be one of the sniper locations? Sniper locations? Mm. Yeah. I, I was like, we really struggled to find that, so. Hey, and playing that. this game a second time is going to be such a different experience. How do you get there? Yeah, it is, eh? What is that? I don't know. It looks like it's some stairs. We've never been on top of that building, no, have we? No, we haven't. Can we get up there? I don't think so. Uh, you can't get any further down. Is there a door in that wall that we haven't been able to get in? Mm. Can't get All any right. further. Well, okay. All right, we'll just yakety sax our way back to um, uh, flight point, as I am wont to say. <laughs> <laughs> and it was said. <laughs> and it was good. <laughs> there are ways that wow marks you for all time. Hey, go somewhere, anywhere, anywhere, please. <laughs> Where the fuck are you? Wait, like, why am I trapped? Are we? This doesn't normally happen, does it? No, I think it's my fault. There we go. Amazing. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Fuck me. Sorry about that, everyone. <laughs> well, they got the beautiful tones of Yakety Sax. Yeah. All right, let's see if Titus is still around. Like, because we're getting towards the end of the game, I'm like paranoid about saving at the moment. Yeah. It's you again. What is it? Then they animate him coming over every time. It takes a long time. <sighs> All right. There's an, uh, an old keratonic lady in the old fish market on the other side of the bay. She needs help. <laughs> What's that, copper? You want us to help little old ladies now? Don't you help your community? You're local law enforcement, aren't you? Helping trouble civilians should fall under your jurisdiction. Good job, Kim. 100%. Yeah, yeah. We'll send someone out. Who is? Wait. It's the pigs. Yep. Isn't it? Her. God. Poor lady. Don't worry. We'll handle this. I think she got some family in Kurong or something. Bastards left her alone when she got sick. We've been getting complaints. Okay. Hey, wasn't Everard's B team looking for her the other day? They said something about her. <gasps> no, I don't know. Finding something? Yeah, I think you're right, Jean. She have something of yours, Pig. She had my hat. Whatever you do, do not admit to these punks you lost your gun. You will suffer if you do. Okay. Nope. She didn't have anything of no. mine. Well. Whatever then, copper. <laughs> <laughs> he chugs his beer down and wipes his no. mouth. 
They totally said what it was. No, shush you, Jane. Shut it? your fucking mouth. You know? Anyone remember? <laughs> I don't remember. I was fucking drunk. Let me know if you figure it out back there. Now, Ooh, yeah, anything else we can help you with? What's her name? Her real name? Auntie LaPlante. We always called her. Something LaPlante. Mm. Marianne, amigo. <laughs> Marianne LaPlante. Be anything else you wanted to know? Who was she? Walls. Like before. Just an old lady. Her kids moved away years ago. Never come to visit. Never took her calls. She gets out every now and then. She did ride by lots of us when we were kids. Always was a little mm. off, but still. It's interesting, um, you know, uh, this world doesn't have TV. No. Uh, and doesn't have the internet. Kind of. Got radio computers, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, not... yeah. Um... And and I, I think of, you know, like, people who are lonely, um, I mean, anybody, for that matter, actually, often likes to have, like, the sound of voices in their environment yeah. uh, when they're alone. Well, and think about, like, checking on music or a podcast or a... Yeah, exactly, podcast. This in the background when you do the plays. dishes. <laughs> uh, it kind of, like, it, it, it feeds into our senses of needing community around us, right? Yeah. Um, and you think about... In this world, all the all the options are would be the radio, yes, or in her case, uh, uh, I don't know how how you would describe that differently from a radio, but like a police radio, right? Um, mm. And 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 you think of people like my my great grandfather who was like really antisocial, but mm. always out on the on the um, what do you call them the is it the cam radio? Oh, ham. Ham radio. Ham radio. Uh, Amateur radio, friends. Yeah. I don't know if it's called the same overseas, but yeah. Um, yeah. So she was lonely and that was her feeling that she was listening to people and talking to people. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's just interesting. It make, makes you think, well, it makes me think, um, like, if she was living in more modern times if the thing she got hooked on would have been police radio or whether it might have been something else. Uh, interesting, yeah. Us kids, that must have been ages ago. She was better then. The children kept her together. Mm, how did she get like this? Get wanted to be a cop, you mean? Well, she... Shit. I don't actually know. Anyone know why she started acting like a pig? I just want to point out that the way she was behaving was not like a pig. Whatever your interpretation of that was, that was completely unique. Ha! <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was like a, it was like a, it was like a hyped up caricature, right, of cop behaviour. Yeah. Yes. Uh, but all the paraphernalia was truly wonderful. It's a, it's a hyperfixation. Yeah. No fucking clue. It's gotta be the crazy. Who'd want to be a pig? Um, can we read through these options though? Mm. Uh, someone who wanted to set the world right before it ends. Ever think of that? I quite like that. More like who wouldn't? Cool uniforms, fast machines, packing heat. Sign me up. Uh, law enforcement is a respectable occupation, sir. <laughs> and I can't but feel partially responsible for the unhealthy culture that poor woman latched into. I'm sorry. That's sorry, cop. Absolutely not. I like the top because it's Apocalypse Cup. Mm -hmm. Let's get in there. No, I didn't. Because I'm not fucking a stupid polisante. <laughs> okay, well... Yeah, Carl. That's some pretty fucking weird shit to say. <laughs> the pigs live a weird. But whatever gets you through the day. I mean, there's got to be a reason why Harry started becoming a cop. Uh, where'd she get all her cop gear? Dunno. She lives by the water. Shit washes up all the time on the mm. beach. Police paraphernalia doesn't just wash up on the coast, people. It's not like we dump it at night. She bought it, collected it. She did collect it or buy it, but like, uh, if Harry's around, police paraphernalia is just strewn about everywhere. 
<laughs> so yeah, I mean, you could have picked it up, right? Mm -hmm. A whole fucking car in the in the on the beach. Station forty one. A man carries a crate of rusted, unused badges. You think these would net us something at the annual auction? A balding detective drags a comb futilely across his head. <laughs> Shit, who want those? Just dump them into the river. Don't, don't, just dump about. stuff in rivers. What yeah, the fuck? Absolutely, don't do that. But also, look, look, they are just everywhere. Thanks for helping us out with this one, Titus. No problem, old cop man. We take care of our mentally ill here in Martinez. Ain't that right, boys? Okay, good job. Sure enough, we're the real heroes on these streets. Okay. And that requires logic. Okay. And it's still good. lost. Yeah, so we need to pop a point into We it. didn't get a minus. No, which is great. But we also didn't get a plus. No. All right. Um, we can... How much time do we got? We do have time. Shall we send Kim to bed? <laughs> Try and ask someone out on a date, the lady out on a date, and then see to our expression. I'm just establishing mm. if there's anything else we want to do tonight before we send Kim away. Because last time people got really outraged that we sent Kim away too early in the evening. True, because apparently we can stay up till all hours, right? Mm, mm, mm. Okay, so what else can we do? Can we? Is this all of our quests? Yes. Ah. Um... This one doesn't exist. This oh, yeah. one doesn't exist. This one does. Yes. Add even more beauty to the wall. What's the top one? That's the wall that we can't do anything because we don't have our fuel oil. Ah, oh. We can't do this one. So this one we can't do either. We fucked that one. Obviously this wasn't our gun. Well, it can't have been because we came after the no. murder. But um, also it was an old school. Remember it was an old school gun? We only know what it was because we found a, a replica that looked like it. Mm. Right? Am I right? Do I recall that correctly? I I remember there was something interesting about the bullet, but um, we went and had another look in that place where we found the gun that we had, like the uh, the old-fashioned gun that we have. Eh? Yeah. I don't think we found anything interesting here. Is there anywhere we haven't been? Chick Island. In, we went to the in island? The, in the game? Yeah. yeah, we can't. We, we, we have not been to the island because okay. we don't know any way to get to the island. Well, actually, if we do send Kim to bed, there's a third thing we can do, which is talk to Joyce. There is a bunch of things we can do if we send Kim to bed. Okay. Shall we put a point into logic and do it now? Yeah. Yeah. If we even have a point. I think we have one left, don't we? Mm. Mm. Okay. All right, logic, here we go. I'm going to save it before we do. <laughs> Just like chronic saving. Baldur's Gate style saving. Oh my gosh. Hope you guys have checked out our Baldur's Gate. We've got, we've already recorded 14 episodes. Yeah, so the plan is, it's um, it's our backup game for playing until we finish off one of our regular games. Yeah. Um, and then we might give you some extra episodes to get it kind of a bit more up to date because we really like when true, true, people, true, 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 true. when we can interact with you all. Yeah, um, yeah. So, yeah. Um logic here oh well it is low probably needs one here we go and then do we have any logic gear probably okay um i mean it was high anyway right we just we high. just got um do we get snake eyes again on that one i don't know but anyway let's let's have a look what logic's need logic? one at the moment uh, so light blue. So something's something's fucking with it. There we go. It was, okay, those it was probably that. Uh, oh, we can put this great coat on. Amazing. Probably one of my favorites of our of our items. To yeah. Be uh, like I would wear that in real life. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> light blue. Light blue. Yep. And. Have I just done this line? Maybe. Uh. We're gonna get this check. Yes, we are. Surely. 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 Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oy. Oh no. I I like that hat. I just don't like that we can't see our our head yes. when we um are wearing it. Okay. Okay. Let's... Now we're so much higher. It's you again. Super logical. What Let's is go. It? 
So much logic. So much rationality. Very high. Very high. 97. The only way we can fail this is with snake eyes eyes. again. A sudden flash of lightning in your neocortex. The hostile cafeteria is lit by its airy blaze. Floor plans, bullet trajectories, webs of human emotion, all channeled into a single thought. Why are you so sure Ruby didn't off him? So that's what you were squinting at. You were trying to come up with a theory, weren't you? That she did it. Somebody did it? Yeah, he was cobbling together shit so he could put her away. It's RCM 101. And for that matter, if you guys are so sure she didn't do it, why have you been hiding her? Well... Let old Titus set your mind at ease, then. She didn't do it. She was here all night. Mm -hmm. Sunday night, 11.30 to 12.15. She was here all that time? Yeah, with us, drinking, near the stage there. He points to the karaoke stage. She didn't go to the toilet? No. That's a lie. Oh, thanks, drummer. Mm, you know that's not the case. All right. She took a fucking leak, okay? For one moment. Maybe went out too. She has an operation to run from her lorry. We're not getting into what that operation is again, Culp. Okay, so he just knows about the drugs. she was gone for five minutes doesn't mean she magically got to the roof and shot him. We've got the key, I've though. been through this. It's not plausible. He's been through it. That means... He suspected her, too. Mm. All right, we're in. We got Ruby unaccounted for sometime during the window. This was crucial. Now let's place her on that roof. Uh, a wench? What wench? I don't know, but we've discovered it in the past, apparently. Should we ask about this one? Yeah. And hopefully we'll come back and get... These two as well. Yeah. Have you noticed the winch out back on the outer wall of the wheeling? I've seen the winch. I'm not blind. You saying she reeled herself up by her collar. Like some kind of... Fish? He can't come up with an analogy, but there you Kidding? go. Yeah, no, Glenn. Let's go with that. <laughs> Point is, it's just a rusty winch. It well, she probably didn't get her up via roof. it, but she might have got down via it. You do agree the shot came from the roof, right? Why not? You can't draw a straight line into Klausia's window from any of the surrounding buildings. Not from what I know about Martin Aves. Oh. Maybe from the coast. But like I said, I've been too busy dealing with you idiots. So no, I don't think it was a sniper. It was close. Surely they would have heard. No, they think it was silenced, right? Possibly. Mm. Do they? There's a seventy-two percent chance that the bullet came from the roof. Wait, seventy-two you know that? percent. That's what we were calculated. That yeah. Is a oh, sorry. Sandage and all. Where'd you get it from? Your guys in the lab. Sorry, whether or not it was silenced. I maybe I made that up. Anyway. No, I think you're right. Because we 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 did question why Klaja hadn't heard the bullet either. I don't recall. Okay. Definitely lie. The truth is not credible. Yeah, we have a ballistics lab in Koran. We consult on cases like these. Okay. It wouldn't hurt to have one of those in Martinez. Still, <laughs> all the labs in the world don't put her on that roof. How'd she get there? Climb. There's a secret route in the kitchen that leads straight to the roof. How? Oh. Through what looks like an abandoned pinball workshop. Mm -hmm. People say there was a pinball arcade here, sometime before the hostel. What was it called, Theo? What was it called? East Delta Pinball Arcade. Oh, boy. <laughs> Weird place. Went bankrupt. Yeah, that's because it's part of the <laughs> okay, coast area. But how'd you get up? There's no room for a staircase in this building. Or an elevator, I mean, there for that is. matter. There is an elevator. The elevator is outside the building. It's an old dumb waiter used for moving pinball machines up and down from the workshop. From there? Uh, yeah, good one, Kim. Thank you. 
The lieutenant is glad he got the floor plan right there. <laughs> From there, a door leads straight to the roof. You can just step outside. Ruby could have gone up, shot him, come down. All under seven minutes. That's quite the theory. We need to have a look at that secret passage, boys. I'm on it, boss. Right when the law clears, me and Angus are going up there. It's a dumb way to, not an industrial lift. How about I go instead of... Just now. You got something else to back this route up? Or is that it? Um... Ooh. This is relevant. But shall we say some say this one first? Yeah. Or, I don't know why this would be relevant. Let's say it! <laughs> you know, the machines in the workshop still operational. Right. What the fuck does that got to do with Ruby? <laughs> I mean, I got it, so. <laughs> what if they're somehow connected to the murder? A pinball murder. Do you want me to say that? Go on! God damn it, Gal. Are you kidding me? You know it was no goddamn pinball murderer. <laughs> Just a thought experiment. Let's go. We <laughs> ah. also found footprints upstairs in the old workshop. Footprints. Recent. Well, hard to say. The tracks were recent, but not worn down in the right foot like Ruby's. It's best to omit this pesky little polemic for now. Too confusing. Uh, either well, one we could two. say this one. There are prints there with horizontal lines that might help us get a clue for someone who does have shoes like that. I would say one or two, but... Why don't you want me to say this? I don't know. I feel like it might um, have Give it too, away much. too much. Yeah. A week or two. That close, huh? How fortunate. I'll take a thorough look at those prints myself before I believe that call. That's Good fair. news is... I'm still listening. Right. Remember that key I found here? I Point don't at the window. Like guessing, Carl. No one does. I mean, Harry does. It opens the steel door in the kitchen, the one that leads upstairs to the roof. This key was right here with you all the time. Mm, you didn't find it, but Ruby did. That's how she got up there. Queer jump into conclusions, Theo. You took that key. Did it look like it was recently put there? No, the ribbon was old. Faded. It had been there for 20 years at least. She could have just put it back there once she was done. Mm. Why? This doesn't make sense. It's damn interesting. But it doesn't fit well, and you know it. That's fair. It doesn't fit well, but it fits. Mm. And he knows it. Also... It has to be said, this man would make a good RCM sergeant, or maybe even lieutenant. Just don't let him anywhere near women. Ugh. Have we firmly established Ruby could have access to the roof where the man was shot? Firmly, firmly doesn't go well with could have. There's a route to the roof. Me and the boys need to check it out. That's what we established. That's fair enough. But a route does not put that bullet in his head. A gun does that, and Ruby doesn't carry one. Ooh. Okay. Phase two, murder weapon. Get a gun in her hand. If not that, then at least a shadow of a doubt in the shape of a gun. Yeah, or try and find who actually did it. Just yeah. don't contradict yourself. If it doesn't sound like Ruby did it, Maybe keep it to yourself. No, no, we will actually try and find who did it. If it's not but Ruby, that's fine. what if you miss interesting information that way? Yeah. The choice is ultimately yes. yours. Yes, thank you, Reaction Speed. But... Um... Um... Maybe show them the antique rifle? Number four, there are weapons like this just lying around. Are there, uh, there are weapons just like this lying around in Martinez? That looks antique. A bell McGrave. It's inoperable. Where'd you get it? There's a cellar under the bookshop. It was hidden there with others just like it. Twenty, maybe thirty rifle status. Also broken, but still, there were too many. And there must be other caches too. God damn it. We need to close that dump down for good. Okay. I see your point. There are guns lying around. Damn it. 
I thought we'd found all the old spots. Why was that still there? We just missed one. Ruby doesn't know this place, boss. Just these cops digging up shit. Um, we know when there's not number five. We don't think, we don't think um, she did it. Should we say this one? Yeah. I've analyzed the bullet that killed him. It was jacketed. So... So it had to come from a breech-loading rifle. Military grade. Not even you militia monkeys have those. This goes against your short-range theory. If the murder weapon was military grade, how did Ruby get it? Wow. Well, see Wait, the previous. Did he say you don't have big guns? <laughs> Shut up, down, Barney. Barney. <laughs> You just showed him a breech-loading gun. Uh, um, I'm just being upfront with what I, I just know. showed you a breech loader oh. that any child could have. Yeah, uh, uh, sure. I was looking at number four, which is I'm just being up. Like, let's not. No, no. I want to aggravate. Right. A broken old broomstick is what you showed me. Put <laughs> one taken. Time to really close the deal. Show them the bullet. Uh, hold out the bullet. This is the bullet that did it. A 446 mil. The Belmograve uses the same caliber. The blonde man looks at the mushroomed Deathbringer in the evidence bag and says, Yeah, the bitch is jacketed all right. Four millimeter too. He might know stuff about. Whoa. Well, goddamn. It's it not proof, but it's a possible murder weapon close to her. Too damn close. Ooh. What were you going to say? Uh, no. You have been thorough. <laughs> I'll give you that. Do we um, want to say there is a small 28% chance that the shot we came from beyond the roof? Are we trying to pin this on Ruby? We're not. I'm we're just not trying, trying to, to pin it on we're Ruby. We're just trying to get... We're just trying to follow the evidence, right? Should we say this just for thoroughness? Yeah. I've already established Ruby's running drugs. She could have sh smuggled guns, too. God damn. That's just about your favorite topic, isn't it? Every fucking five seconds. Calm down. <laughs> uh, all I'm saying is, from what I saw in her cabin, she'd have no trouble getting a gun. Trouble. This is Revishaw. Even the Royd heads in the gym had a carbine. No one has trouble getting a gun. I still never saw her carry one. Okay. He must be referenced in some past case of this. Mm. He's angry because he knows you're right. What he's saying only confirms your theory. All right, there is a small 28% chance that the shot came from beyond the roof. Yes, goddammit. I know what a 72% <laughs> chance means. It means there's a 28% chance it isn't that. And 28% is no small chance either. Yeah, I mean, give us evidence of something else and we'll chase that. Just making sure we are on the same page. It doesn't all fit. We are just sharing info candidly. Titus doesn't reply. Probably a good sign. Should we ask number five even though we, we know for sure it wasn't her? Well... I mean, it was very unlikely to be her up on the roof shooting this guy randomly. Well, also, it can't have been, because we arrived after the murder. Yes, of course, correct. I mean... Well, no, it would have to be another gun that she was using. I see what you're saying. All right. You lost your gun? <gasps> oh, fuck! That's right, we didn't, they didn't know. <laughs> what an idiot! <laughs> Tell me, did you lose it before the murder? It was a joke! It was a joke! Sure. Take your sorry ass out of here. <laughs> Ruby didn't use your lost gun. Fuck! I, no, then why? How did, how did we not? Oh. No, neither of us clued into that before we did Stop it. Stop thinking about your Dang. lost gun, Hammett. You've a heart attack. Dang! This was merely a thought exercise. He did not lose his gun. Let's move on. I didn't say I'd prove she had the murder weapon. Just hang on, wait. I didn't say I I'd like prove she lost had... some points there. <sighs> Oh. I didn't say I'd prove uh, she had the murder weapon, just that we need to find her. Here we go. What eggs we are! Wow. I feel like that was, like, the perfect thing. You know, like, sometimes people have said to us, like, why don't you ask all the questions? And we're like, well, some of them are, seem like bad choices. Ah. And that time we were like, this is literally illogical, but let's click it for the sake of being thorough. Oh. 
and it was a bad choice. But that's okay. It's all part of the experience. I guess I just feel justified now of being like, if it's <gasps> if there's something on the list and it seems stupid or bad, we don't have to click it. How many times in our next playthrough do you think we're going to die? Way more times, because you're just going to go completely feral. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. In fact, yeah. I think you should try and test the game and see how many times you can die. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. Uh, I didn't say I'd prove she had the murder weapon, just that we needed to find her. I don't knock up. Why don't you find your lost Do gun you... first? <laughs> I have hey, a... Lost gun right here. No, don't. Lost and found. Don't be waving your gun around. Easy now, Al. This isn't comedy hour. Titus, we're not seriously considering it, are we? Ruby wouldn't do this. Why would she do something like this? Phase three. Motive. Okay. The last component. Ooh. Uh, let's, shall we start with the top one? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Okay, so the options friends are, it's not why did she kill him, it's why did she organise the cover-up. There's also maybe it's all part of a leadership challenge against you, Titus. And then the last one is maybe she killed him because she thought it would curry favour with you. I kind of like the last one. Okay. You had expressed on occasion your dislike of the mercenary's presence in Martinez, right? Hmm. Whack someone in my district? That doesn't carry much favor with Titus Hardy. She has to know that. He rubs his chin and looks out the window. All right, top one? Yeah. So why did she kill him? It's why did she organize a cover-up. And I suppose you have a theory on that. She could have just been covering up for herself, Titus. Think about it. Why go through all that effort? It was her idea, wasn't it? The hanging. You went along, but she suggested it. It's true, she did. She had, like... A fully formed plan and shit. You should probably be quite right Shanky. When she came back downstairs. <laughs> I mean, tell oh. us, tell us. Really, Shanks? Closier wanted to talk to another girl, that's all. She was just the first one up there. I could have come up with that plan if I'd have been first. But, like, what's the motivation to cover it up? Hmm. Right? Like, I mean, Klaja says that Ruby wanted to protect Klaja. Mm. And Klaja's on the run and hiding and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So maybe that's all it is. I don't but, know. I don't know. Time for a logic demonstration. Ooh. Eugene, let's assume you killed him. He scoffs. Think. You kill him. Get up there. Shoot him. Get down. Would you prefer to go on trial with your friends as part of a lynch mob or alone for committing murder? The man is silent. <laughs> if she used us to cover her own shit up, well, that's a serious violation of the Hardy Code, boss. Which is why she didn't. She would never do that. Why aren't more of you defending her? This is fucking stupid, Titus. Glenn, I thought the same thing when she skipped town and left us in this shit. Oh, she's left town. Ooh. No wonder we haven't been able to find her. Oh, so we didn't rule her out completely. And she skipped town. This is good. Uh, do we want to ask the second one? I think he'll shoot it down. Yeah. But we can ask it anyway. Mm. There's no fucking leadership challenge. Just when I thought you were taking this seriously, cop, you put your head in your ass. Okay, yeah. Man. Now he's just throwing shit against the wall to see what sticks. Sure. <laughs> okay. We ruled out in fighting. That's how this works, by exclusion. Remember, Thanks, all we need to do is rule Ruby out too. That's all this is. There's a bit of truth in there for Titus to react so brashly. Mm. He does not like his authority questioned. Titus, you have to say it. Things don't add up. We need to talk to her. Silence. He looks around the room. The old man in the corner. Not mm. a very small nod and a trickle of tobacco spit on his lip. This is the only option he cares for. Interesting. Yeah. Opinion, not option. I see it. There's one more thing I've been wondering about ever since you asked me where she Ooh. is. Added to your list of suspicions, 
if you won't. I don't know. I don't know where she went. She just got up and left. Got real scared, too. Wouldn't tell me where. However hard I asked. Wanna know why? Why? She was afraid I would tell you. Maybe she was right. By now, I probably would. Okay, so he mm -hmm. doesn't he, he doesn't know, but he, he would tell us now. Yeah. Um I still don't think there's a clear enough motive for her. Like, especially now that Titus has been like as a member of the union, as a leader of the union, I wouldn't approve that she do it for the union. Hmm. I mean, so, he's not leader of the union, but yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, a he's, he's the leader of the Hardy Boys. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, so then what's the motive? Yeah, unless it, it was If it wasn't for, to do with the strike, what was it to do with? Unless it was something to do with her and Klaja being close and she didn't like the way that Klaja was being treated. Maybe, but, but I feel it like feels that's like quite a thin. stretch. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, but that's the only thing I can think of with yeah. the information we've got so far. Which Maybe is, she was in love with Klaja. As you say, thin. Yeah. She knew there's evidence on her, and she knew we'd find it. This is typical suspect behavior. Why fleeing is always incriminatory. Always. Well, is it always? Sometimes it's because. A cab. Yeah. Perhaps. Ask her if you find her. It won't be easy, though. She made sure of that. When did she leave? Friday afternoon, when you first arrived. I got word the RCM was in town. Then she came in to see me. Told me she was leaving. That's when we had our little conversation. I'm interested in the way he said conversation and earlier how he said how hard he asked her. So uh, I mm. wonder if he'll tell us a bit more about that. What was that. she scared of? I told you. You. Me, as in the RCM? No, you, as in the cop with the sideburns and the disco clothes. Yeah, that's fair. And they hold My in his heart. That first. And the hole in his Why heart. Not? You suck on that gun like someone tore you a brand new asshole. Mm, well, um. <laughs> no wonder she's afraid. I have come to declare the ending of the human experiment. Fuck, that's grim. All right, she probably knew me from my singing days. <laughs> Uh, number three is, I'm sorry, God, why does everything everything flee at the sight of my shadow? Number four is, I have no idea why I should be scared. I'm just a normal cop with regular <laughs> thoughts in his head. <laughs> if you go to somebody and say, I'm just a normal whatever your profession is with regular thoughts in their head. <laughs> You'll be like, right. you're a murderer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? Like straight away. I just, if someone came to me and said that, I'd be like, uh-huh. That's that's real that's nice. That's nice. <laughs> Backing away slowly. Yeah. Uh, she probably knew me from a singing day? Sure. Yeah, that's real funny. She wasn't laughing, though. He looks okay. at you. You know, when I first saw you limping here, I thought she was paranoid or sniffing her own supply. But Why do you say that? No, I'm not so sure. <laughs> that doesn't seem justified. Oh! Uh. What did else did Ruby tell you about me? She said you have a funny taste in clothes and that you won't stop. That's true. Won't stop? Until you have something on her. She said she's heard of you from Jamble. Oh. That you're a human can opener. What? That you play suspects against each other. Oh. Open them up. Like can. Because she's involved in drug running. She knows people who are... In the criminal underbelly. I may have heard of certain police officers. <laughs> Holy shit. RCM officers, yeah. I think that's the first time someone's known us from our previous life. Yeah. Or apart from the other cops. Who we Fuck still don't know hell. why they're here. Titus, no. did he just... Open Angus up like a can? Yes, he did. Now, we can whine about it. Whack him. Or we can go on with our lives. I'm having a go-on-with-our-lives kind of day, Al. How about you? Yeah. <laughs> it's not an actual question. <laughs> Silence. He nods. Is that true, Kim? Am I a can opener? You are consistent. Okay. Anything else? Anything? Yeah. There was something else. She wouldn't tell me, though. I could see she wanted to. It was burning 
on their lips. This cop, Titus. This cop, he... Well, we have got multiple kills. Scared. I thought we only had a couple. Two. That's multiple kills. That is fair. Do you have any kills or... Kills? Kills. <laughs> brain. It's okay. on the brain now. Uh, do you have any clues on where Ruby went? She's not far. We know that much. Okay. Mm. She didn't take her lorry, so she's on foot. Good fucking luck, man. She knows this place oh, like the back of her hand. You'll never find her. Yeah, Elle. And we won't either. Mm. She's not really a hardy candidate anymore, is she? Well, that depends on what's happened. She's not, Glenn. Oh, have you mm. looked for her? A little. On the coast. Where have you looked for her, more precisely? More precisely? On the coast. Past the water log. She's not here. So, I'm thinking she's there. Okay. Or she might be on the island that we can't fucking get to. Mm. Who's doing this looking? They're all here. Yeah, you're all here. Who's out looking? Lizzie needed some air. Ah. Uh, no. So she didn't go tell Everard. No one goes to tell Everard anything. He knows what he has to know. Fast. Great. It's called a radio, you believe. The gardener may have played you a game when she stormed out. She has her own plan. Okay. Can you, can you tell me where on the coast I should start looking? Sure. There are some <laughs> shit houses there. A center block town. The fisher folk there refuse to unionize. So that's one place we haven't looked. Another reason why uh, Everett's wanting to get rid of them? Mm. I hear they have a shack where junkies sometimes crash. That's my house. Time for you I to I think there's one next up. to us. But also, yes, yes, we are the junkie who's crashing the back. One more question. What does Ruby look like? Good question. Boyish. Hair's red. Dyed. She looks like a Lowry man. Do you know what she's doing with Ulan frequencies? What? Wow. The what now? I have no idea. Boys. Was that what her radio was set to before we took her? I suppose she so. She said she's building a... A pale emitter. Ooh. What? <gasps> what does that mean to... Is a cell ruby? <gasps> she's got short hair. And there's something about her that we've been trying to ask and she's been avoiding us each time. Ooh. Surely she's too young. Okay, all right, I love this. I think we should go talk to a cell. What? We were talking about radio equipment. She said she's doing Yulan frequencies and a pale something. I don't know more. This guy barely understands what he's talking about. Mm -hmm. There you have it. Pale something. Titus puts an end to it. It feels like you'll get to know soon enough. It's not much, but it'll do. It'll have to. Yeah. Shake his, his hand. It's firm and reassuring. Like holding a piece of unpolished granite. I feel like Harry and uh, Titus have kind of grudgingly developed a bit of respect for each other. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Not just granite, tightly packed RCM sergeant material. <laughs> I don't know if he'll appreciate us saying that. Yeah, I don't know. What do you think I should do? Either is good. I'll just think no. it. He already is a sergeant. Mm. That's what you're feeling. He just wasn't sure what you are. That's fair. We've been pretty um, unhinged. Okay. Well, we're going to leave it there. We're going to go yeah, have dinner. We're out of time. Um, Ask about Ruby in the village. Maybe their leader knows something. Who's their leader? Is it the old lady or is it the, 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 the Nets lady? Great question. I guess we'll have a chat to a few people. Mm. Yeah. Um, and we got a point because we leveled up or something. Let's I don't hang know. on to that one, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> wow. Well, I feel like that was a real, like, closing in on... It was a, it was a real closing in on. Mm -hmm. You think you have a pretty hot suspect right now, don't you? Sorry? I that thought that was just things. an idle thought. Yeah, and? Um... Notice how it came together without casting too much suspicion on Classia. Uh. It was nice and Ruby-centric in the end. 
What do you mean? Anything strike you a bit off about this mishmash? Uh, okay, shall we? So far, no one has mentioned hearing the shot. That's because we were talking about whether or not we thought it was silenced. Mm, Maybe we so don't know that. that one. Yeah. Notice how this hasn't come up at all. Even Hardy and his boys didn't mention it. Ooh, okay. Let's, did you. let's work through some of the others. Well, the bullet didn't have to come from the roof. It could have come from anywhere on the coast. Absolutely. It could have come from anywhere, but you're suddenly so certain it came from the roof behind the window. The bullet was jacketed. Those These don't just lie around everywhere, do they? Good point. It is rather rare these days, but do continue. Turned out the bullet was an antique? True. Strange how you conducted the whole advanced ballistics analysis and then hand-waved it. Did we hand-wave it? I don't think we did. The footprints in the pinball workshop didn't fit with the old soul's prints on the crime scene. That is true. No, they didn't. Okay, and then we already did the no one hearing it. I'm done thinking about this. That's right. Finish thought. Just finish it and conveniently go on. She's watching you leave right now. You know that. Free as a bird on that roof, lighting up a cigarette and thinking, am I glad Ruby's in this shit and not me? Well, our, our ballistic analysis established that the bullet did come from outside of the the door, outside of the room and into the room. So how could Klaasia have done it? Well, we're assuming she was telling the truth when she said she was in the room with him. Yeah, but I guess what would his... So the bullet went in the... Wait. It went in his mouth? Didn't it? And lodged in the back of his skull? Yeah. So we established that he, he would have had to have been facing the window, didn't yes. we? Yeah, I think so. Hmm. It wasn't the other way around, was it? But yeah. Don't listen to this guy. The theory was solid. He's just jealous. Move on. It's no use harassing her further. Mm. Sounds like it might be worth harassing a further. Mm. Okay. I'm going to stop there before we get dragged into anything else. <laughs> into more thoughts. It's all heating up. Would love to know if you remember when you were, like, so, so, so many of you have already played this game. Uh, when you were at this point, did you think Ruby had done it? Do you think that Plaja had done it? Do you think there was a third person who had done it? And for those of you who haven't played it before, what are you guys thinking? What and do you think, Isa? Um, I'm thinking it was probably Ruby, but I think I think there was some maybe collusion with the motive, Klaja, maybe. maybe. The motive might have been more complicated. Yeah, and I feel, I feel we don't have all the puzzle pieces yet. I kind of want there to be a third person. Ooh. I want there to be a sniper. Yeah, okay. And for there to be a whole new mystery around that as well. Yes. Um. Do I, yeah. I definitely think the story as we have it so far does not add up. Yeah, agreed. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, my friends. Um, I hope that you have delicious snacks on a sunny day. Yes. Um, maybe go sit outside and and eat something small and delicious and drink something nice. And just enjoy that sun on you. <laughs> Um, and if it isn't nice, then maybe find a nice cozy fireplace. Right here. <laughs> Pardon me. That was my sympathetic feelings of you who are in a not nice place. Yes. And we'll catch you next time. See you then. Bye. <laughs>